Good evening, I'm Larry Smith. And I'm Megan Mannering. Tonight, an LEX 18 investigates update on a story we brought you last night about police accountability. It involved a former Frankfurt police detective who was able to hop from agency to agency despite reported issues. Today, Lee Searcy caught up with the man at the center of one of those incidents caught on police body cam. He wants to know why his written complaint appeared to have gone nowhere. We first told you about former Frankfurt police detective Gus Curtis last night. Have a warrant? I'm sorry. You have a warrant? Do you have a warrant? No. Ah, that's illegal. Iris, you're fine. That is illegal. Excuse me, you cannot force your way into my home. That woman was arrested, went to jail, and ultimately had the charges dismissed. Now she's suing, saying Curtis unlawfully entered her home. He is part of a criminal investigation. Yes, he needs to be identified. Okay. Then there was this incident from two weeks earlier when Detective Curtis asked Nicholasville police to go to a man's house outside of Curtis's Frankfurt jurisdiction to help in what he described as a criminal investigation when it really was a personal matter. Here's your two options. You give Mr. Boston $525 or you cut a check tomorrow by 5 o'clock of $525 or I'm going to Mercer County yeah, Courthouse first thing Monday and I'm getting a warrant for you. Today I caught up with the man in that video. How do you trust your public officials if they're kicking in doors or strong arming people over the phone for money. He didn't want to be identified, but says after that encounter, he reported the incident to Frankfurt police and was told by an investigator that both he and Curtis were in the wrong and that nothing could be done. I spoke with Detective Keith, which he said that he was in charge of internal affairs, and he said there wasn't much he could do about it or was going to do about it. So that's when I started going the other way and pressing charge, filing paperwork and all that. He showed me a copy of the complaint he says he filed last year, but when he called Frankfurt police today to check on the status of it, he says he was told they don't have it. This is the complaint that I filed with, oh, with Internal Affairs Department of Frankfurt and apparently they don't have this on file no more or didn't ha or never had it on file. He wants to know what happened to his complaint and said if it had been looked into, he feels some of the other reported issues like this one may not have happened. It's kind of mind boggling, you know, being in the public field myself, it kind of, I know if we did anything wrong, we, we answered to it right then and there. In Jessamine County, Lee Searcy, Evening Edition. As we've reported, Curtis told us he disputes all allegations of wrongdoing.